Jack Hawkins and Joe Davis in the background were among Mike Hawthorne's admirers at the National Sporting Club's dinner. Donald Campbell, Mike himself and Charles Forty received the guests. On the right, Tony Brooks, another great man in motor racing. And of an earlier generation, Earl Howe. The whole sporting world was represented, including Tony Vanderbilt, whose Van Wall cars helped to put Britain on top. For boxing, there were the Cooper brothers, Henry's the heavyweight champ. The sporting club's presentation of a cocktail cabinet to Mike Hawthorne was made by the club chairman, Charles Forty. A brief unveiling ceremony revealed the cabinet and contents in all their glory. Bliss was it on that night to be alive. To be thirsty was very heaven. The club once gave a similar cabinet to Stanley Matthews, who's a teetotaler. There was no incongruity about the present proceedings. In his speech of thanks, Mike touched on his retirement from motor racing and the difficulties of getting insured in a dangerous occupation. I must say how delighted I am with this great honour you accorded me this evening, and especially with this wonderful presentation of the cocktail cabinet. I'm afraid it's, it's completely ruined my chances of getting a 50% reduction with this Swedish insurance firm. <laughs> I see there was a little bit in the paper the other day about Sterling would be able to get it and I wouldn't because I like my beer. <laughs> Thank goodness they left the whiskey out and the rest. <coughs> I've had eight years of racing. In eight years I got to the top, so I decided now's the time. Thank you all very, very much indeed for coming along and being so patient to listen to me. And I hope one day some of you will come along and join me and we'll empty that lot. Thank you very much. Sir.